Got uh, Jackson and Jason here at the Beaver Fit Back 40, and we're going to show you how to set up the 10 foot locker. Alright, step one, we're going to be putting on the container brackets. There's six of them, three for each side, and then the back's going to have two rope climb container brackets. We'll get to those later. For the container brackets, you're going to be using inch and a half bolts, half inch flat washers, ladder wrench, three quarters or 19, whatever you have. When putting up these container brackets, you're gonna want the high bracket, high side out from the, uh, from the container, low side to the uh, mounting bracket. Helps to have someone else holding it up while you put it in. Next one up, we put the legs up against the container brackets. When you place the legs up, you're gonna be looking for the high hole out. Good way to remember it. Low hole goes uh, parallel with the locker. Uh, for the hardware, we're gonna be using uh, four and a quarter bolts, four and three quarter bolts, and then your uh, standard half inch nut. All right, so what we did here with the container brackets and the legs is we uh, prepped them with the bolts uh, four and a quarter on the bottom, four and three quarter on the top. The four and a quarter, you can go ahead and put a nut and a washer on. Uh, that's going to be staying there. Uh, when we put up the wing, we put a four and a quarter uh, on this hole below it, and then a four and three quarter is going to punch through on the top there uh, for secure. All right, here's a good way of doing it for uh, if you're short-handed. Put the uh, four and a quarter on the bottom. Have someone hold it, secure it. And then swing the other side over. Kind of held in place there. Get the four and three quarters. And your extra washers and nuts. Swing it up. Make sure it fits on that nut. And the one behind us as well. Nice and secure. And the other one should come on pretty easily. When you go ahead and tighten these up, when you, at the uh, final step, when you tighten everything up, this four and a quarter that's in this hole here, you're gonna have to kind of flush a wrench in there, hold the nut as you tighten it. But again, you just wanna keep everything loose as you're setting up. Keeps it flush and straight. Next up we have the ace bar. You're gonna be putting uh, four and one quarter inch bolts through both slots. Uh, top slot goes to the second hole down on both sides.
we've made a few changes to our rope climb for our tens. Uh, we first off starting here, we went from the rope climb container bracket to just straight up container brackets. Uh, you'll see in the video after this that the rope climb and container brackets are on there. Um, also, our legs, they used to be 90.5s, they are now 86.5s. And our extensions are 62 inches as opposed to 57 inches. As far as alignment to check, you'll see uh, for this for this variation, the two holes of the 62 incher is going to be facing up. The slots will be facing each other. Where the rope climb attaches, the three holes will also be facing each other. Attaching the rope climb to the rope climb uh, brackets, you're going to want to uh, push up on the bracket to align the slots, the bottom slots and the top slot to this second hole up here. You are going to have to push up again to make it fit. All right, when setting up the rope climb, you're gonna start it off again with the rope climb container brackets. Here's all your hardware. You're gonna have four and a quarter, one and a half, half inch washers, half inch nuts, three quarter wrench. Onto the rope climb container bracket. You'll notice it's a little bit different. It's a little fatter on one side that uh, points in. Two slotted holes, only place it can go. Again, helps to have a second pair of hands. Keep them hand tight. Right onto the rope climb legs. These legs are shorter than the side legs. These are 90.5s, the others are 98.5s. Uh, these also come with an uh, extension. Those should be 57 inches. Uh, best way to put these together is laying them down, slide the extensions into the legs, attach the rope climb bracket to the legs. Again, keeping everything still loose. Uh, and then once you have them all attached, stand it up, attach it to the container brackets. All right, once you have all the legs and the brackets lined out and put together, uh, to line them up, you're gonna make sure you have the high hole facing out from the locker. You'll see here's the low hole, here's the high hole. Coming up to line up the extension with the leg, you're gonna have the slot to the slot. That's, his, that's what's gonna connect to the container brackets. And then here you're gonna want uh, the rope climb bracket flush with the tops. And that's, uh, you'll, have, you'll have your holes that uh, go through the rope climb brackets here. Once you have the uh, rope climb bracket connected to the legs, um, you're going to want to tighten it if you don't have a long or tall enough ladder. Uh, also, you're going to want to put on your uh, rope climb uh, before we stand it up. Same reason if you don't have a tall enough ladder. to have two people for that. <laughs> uh, rope climb to the container, you're gonna wanna use four and a quarter bolts. Four and a quarter bolts are also used on the uh, rope climb bracket up top as well. Okay, and then you do the same to the side. 
to the other side and then uh, once uh, everything's all hand tight you're going to go through and tighten everything down with either wrench or impact. I recommend the impact.